hola today is going to be a quick video i'm going to show you how to change the color of your cart count bubble from the bland uh color there that beige color to the green one so that it stands out my name is betsy welcome to the channel where i show you tips tricks and resources so that you can create a shopify store that you're proud of today we're going to jump into the edit code follow me okay so we're in the shopify dashboard so as usual i open my three windows so that you guys can see so i have my dashboard here i have my theme editor here and i have um, a copy of the live site this is my demo site but it's a live site okay so this color here it's not a color that you can change from the theme editor so if we go into the colors here from what you can see first of all it's not in the icons right the icons is just here um it's not in the buttons so you have your button you have all the shadows all of these things so here again this is the cart drawer so you're not able to do anything from right here this color right here <laughs> right here you can't change it from here okay so what we need to do in order to change this particular um this is called the cart count bubble <laughs> all right say that a few times all right so that's what that is so you're not going to be able to see it from here so let's go ahead and jump to the dashboard and so what we're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click on edit code before you start working on edit code i want to make sure that you um, always do um, a backup of your site okay so just in case you mess this up especially if your site is live i don't want you to mess anything up okay so always go ahead and duplicate the theme and then work on the duplicate copy okay do what you're gonna what you want to do and if it looks good then you can go ahead and apply that change to the actual live site if it's live okay all right so we're gonna go ahead and edit the code and now for you depending on your theme this might be in two different locations so the first one is going to be for me is actually is in the i'm using the dawn theme so it's going to be in my assets and it's going to be my base.css okay so your theme might not have this it might be the liquid.css right so if you go down this is an alphabetical order so if you don't see the base.css then you come down to the liquid and look for the liquid.css okay so either one so for me it's this one so what i'm going to do is going to come all the way to the bottom of the base css and again you'll see that it's right here so that you know exactly where you're working it's right there once you get here you see how the cursor is already down here you're just going to enter just a few times and then you're going to copy and paste the code that i've put in the description for you okay so this is the code here so let me sh walk you through what this is so the this is telling it that the cart count bubble is what you want to change okay and what we're going to do is the background color is the green is my the green of my brand color and then the color this one here is actually the color of the font which is this one here so right now the bubble is the cream and the number which is the font color is green right so once i change this to green so it pops out a little bit more then you're not going to be able to see the number because it's also green okay so we're going to have to change both we're going to change the background and we're going to change the color now um, if you don't want to change the color if there's going to be enough contrast then you can just simply just remove this part okay you could just simply remove it just like that no big deal okay so i'm gonna just leave that there that's what you're telling the base css the code in the back end of your website you're telling it for this cart count bubble make the numbers white and then the background green okay now another thing that i would like you to do and if you if you're just getting started doing this this is a very good habit um to have is to create notes for you okay there's a lot of scenarios where you're going to do things and you're not going to remember what they are and what you did okay so get into the habit of creating notes for yourself okay so how you do this is that you create forward slash asterisk asterisk forward slash then you're going to come back into the center and then write the notes that you want to write so for here example i'm going to write I, that i just changed the color Okay, so I changed the color of the bubble. That means 
I made a note for my, a mental note for myself, and I'll remember what I did, what this code is for. Once that is done, we're going to go ahead and save. And we're going to come back, and then we're going to go ahead and refresh. And ta-da! That's it. That was a quick tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if this helped you so that I know that it did. And comment below and let me know um, if there's anything else that you want to customize on your website so that I can create those videos for you. In the meantime, go check out these videos here that will also help you customize a few sections like colors and text. See you next time. Adios.